Do you hear that? All right, this is uh, another set of uh, EVPs and evidence that uh, recent investigations that we've had. As I said in the last video, we we haven't picked up a whole lot at any one investigation here lately, and then we did a whole lot of stuff there just kind of in a short period of time, and uh, so it's kind of matching up some stuff and uh, a couple of different investigations. Uh, this one we'll be talking about. Uh, our first investigation, or my first investigation, at the uh, Belknap Bridge near Belcherville, Texas. And then we're going to wrap it up with uh, what was not actually uh, intended to be a, a paranormal investigation or a ghost hunt. It was just an abandoned house that we went into. But we actually did pick up a couple of things in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get right to it. This first one, not long after we first got there. And, uh, of course, the if you're not familiar with uh, the Belknap Bridge, I'm going to leave a, a link to that video in the uh, upper right-hand corner. If you want to watch the vid that video first, if you haven't seen it. At Belknap Bridge, back in 1996, a, a young girl was murdered there. And her body was thrown over the, the bridge. Uh, it's uh, Belknap Bridge is way out in the, in the country. Uh, very rural, very isolated. Uh, in fact, all the times we've been out there, we've seen one vehicle come by. And uh, I was just talking. Um, well, let's go ahead and go ahead and play this clip. Like I said, this is early on in the investigation. The only, the only thing I can think to say is, Heather, if you're listening, I'm sorry this happened to you. But you have your word, Joe Laney. I was talking about uh, how normally a lot of places we go, we kind of have a, a basic idea of the history, but. Some of it's just rumors, some of it's just, we're not really sure exactly what happened. This, we all know what happened. This was a big story in our area uh, back in the mid-90s. So we, we know exactly what happened. And uh, I was just saying, the only thing I can think of to say is, is Heather, we're sorry if you're listening. And I should again, I should have mentioned, you're, you're probably going to need headphones for most of these. It's kind of that breathy kind of sound right after. I don't know if somebody trying to say something or if it's just breathing or exactly what that was. But there was just kind of this almost an exhale or maybe, a, you know, just kind of a, maybe a breathy word or something. Uh, pretty faint. Just picked up a little something there anyway. Uh, this next one is, is not too long after that. This was just, uh, you know, it's just a few minutes after uh, we picked up another little something here. It's only hitting yellow on the K2, but that's... Are y'all hearing that? What was that? Kel? Okay. No, it sounded like... No, it sounds like... It sounded like... Of music to me? No, to me it sounded like somebody said, at you. Uh, Amy and Laney both heard it. I did not. And as you can tell, it picked up pretty clear on, on the camera. Uh... Now, of course, Lainey, I, I don't know exactly what kind of music Lainey listens to all the time. Maybe she was hearing something else. I don't know. But, uh, like I said, Lainey, or Amy had uh, described it as, as a chew. And there was that, that kind of, it almost sounded like a punching press or something. And I couldn't tell if maybe that was a voice or if it was something else. We could hear some kind of noise there that I didn't hear at the time anyway. So, uh, again, not sure what that was. Um, Pickle heard a cow somewhere, but apparently didn't hear this. So. Uh, which, by the way, this was the investigation that uh, World's Craziest Trucking Pickle went with us. That was my phone in the background. Had to make an appearance. So just, uh, just some kind of interesting sound there. Okay, and again, this this next one uh, is not, not too long after the last one. These all seem to come fairly close together. Um, you're definitely going to need uh, headphones for this. This is this is going to be a whisper. Let's go ahead and, and tell you that. So let's go ahead and play the clip. Out here at night time, when it turns dark, you will get a lot of stuff. Mm. Yeah, my going off now. Yeah. 
Uh, you can hear Laney uh, saying that you know after it gets dark, all kinds of things happen out there, which we did have a, a pretty, some pretty odd experiences after the sun went down out there. But uh, after she says that, and I, I just go, hmm, you kind of hear there's a little bit of a whisper there, and I can't quite make it out. It, it I can't tell if it's saying listen carefully or listen to me, something like that. The the first part to me sounds like listen. Not really sure about the second part, uh, but we definitely we definitely picked up some kind of whisper there. Uh, and again, on all of this, we didn't get anything on the voice recorder. We just picked up these three things that uh, that picked up on the the video uh, the audio of the video. Now, of course, our next video, as I said before, it was not even really. It was not intended to be in a paranormal, paranormal investigation. It was just, we were coming back from Spanish Fort Cemetery, and uh, I had driven by this old house countless times over the years. Uh, I used to take pictures of it when I was doing the still photography and stuff. And we decided, well, let's just stop and go in. And, uh, of course, that place is in really bad shape. The floors were falling apart. Uh, the ceiling was... Uh, one entire side of the house had basically almost caved in, uh, so it was kind of hard to move move around in there. We didn't stay in there a real long time, but oddly enough, even though we weren't really trying, we did pick up a couple of things. Now, I'm going to do this a little bit out of order. This is what some of the things led to. This is right before we, not long before we left the house, uh, picked up a little something here. And uh, well, let's just go ahead, go ahead and play the clip. This is uh, this is actually the last thing that we got, but I want to play the others last for you. I'll find them. Is there somebody here? We seem to pick up a little something there. It kind of sounds like a hello after I say, "Is there anybody here?" Maybe I'm just trying to convince myself that it sounds like hello, I don't know. But it does seem like we picked up a little something there. Some some kind of that kinda of sound that sounds like a voice. Now one thing I do want to touch on, uh there is some talk about the uh the music you hear. I'm pretty sure that's Amy's phone. Amy was having trouble with her phone. I think she turned her phone on and off. I think that's just Amy's phone. Amy never has confirmed or denied. But, <laughs> but I'm Speaking of phones, there's mine again. I'm pretty sure that's just Amy's phone. Uh, but yeah, it did seem like we picked up a little bit of a whisper. Okay, what well, all led up to that? When we first went in, as like I say, we it was tough to maneuver through there. We couldn't really get through the front room and, and go straight back. And so I said, well, let's just go this way. We went through what I, I guess probably would have been a bedroom, uh, past the bathroom. Uh, into this back room, and there was a closet door that was open. I start falling into explaining what's going on before I play the clip. Let me go ahead and play the clip. Yikes! Yeah, this is. Somebody knocking on something just now? Okay, now as you can see, it was um, right there in that same area where we picked up whatever that was, the hello or whatever it was. And I actually, of course, you hear that I actually did hear that knocking. I only heard three knocks now on the recording. You know, played the video back later. It's actually a series of knocks. It's about six knocks there. Did not hear all of that. I just heard like three, just quick boom, boom, boom. But, you know, the six knocks, it started kind of low and got louder as it went. Uh, of course, you know, I went on into what was uh, the kitchen and came back out. This was this was also right around where uh, where Amy or, uh, or uh, Laney broke the eggs. <laughs> All that happened right there in that same area. But as I'm coming back out, I'm taking a, a closer look inside the kitchen and stuff. And we get this. Uh. You hear that 
was just like four really quick knocks. Boom, 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 boom. Happened right there in that same area. And of course, was, like I say, we, it was hard for us to move around. You couldn't even walk on half the floors in there. Uh, I had walked back out on the front porch. And Amy was still messing with her phone trying to get it to work. And while she was standing in the doorway that led into what I guess would have been the living room, she heard three knocks coming from that same area. And that's when I went back in and picked up the uh, the voice, the noise, whatever that was. Well, so I thought that was interesting. We weren't even trying, and we picked up some stuff. Okay, well, that's what we got uh, for this one. We, we've got, of course, we'll continue to have other paranormal videos coming up. That's basically the way I'll probably do it. If, if there's not a whole lot from one investigation, I'll probably just bunch them up and have like two or three in, in one video. Uh, like I say, again, links to the description. You can click that uh, the I there in the top right corner. Watch both of these videos. I'll leave links in the description as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, pretty sure you know how YouTube works. You can click click the one one way sign in the uh, right hand corner. Bottom right hand corner, you can click the circle at the end of the video or the red button on the front page uh, to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for watching until the very end. Uh, we will have more to come. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.